let this be the video that inspires you to go hard as fuck on your manifestations this year. I am finally doing my 2023 reflections in 2024 intention setting video. We did part one and part two of this at the end of 2023. And I promise you that once I had taken myself through the new year intention setting guide that I walked you guys through in those videos that I would share my actual application with you here. So here we are. I want this video though to be not so much about me and my 2023 reflections and what I'm calling in in 2024, although it will be, but I want this to be inspiration and motivation for you, especially in seeing what is possible for you when you don't just learn about manifestation, but you actually apply it. And listen, the learning is great. That's what I'm here for. I am here to teach you and to help you and to educate you on mindset and manifestation and empower you with the tools that will enable you to up level your life and self into that soul aligned next level self that your soul is calling you to be. But the key is that you actually apply these principles, that you actually apply what we talk about. And I'd say I'm proof of the application. <laughs> so I hope that this inspires you. I hope that this motivates you. And if you have not yet gotten clear on what you want to call in this year, I hope this really lights that fire under your eyes. <laughs> to get that clarity for yourself. I will link the new year intention setting guide down below. So that's the tool that I used in this process that I'm about to share with you now. And also what I walk you through in part one and two of this series as well. And I highly encourage you to get some clarity on your new year intentions, what you want to manifest this year, because not only is this a part three and the final part to that new year intention setting series, but consider this like a preview for something that we are about to be diving into starting February 22nd. I have a challenge coming for you guys that I have been working on that I am so excited to share with you. It will be a four week challenge kicking off on February 22nd. I will share more about this at the end of this episode, but what I can tell you now is that after this challenge, by the end of March, you will not be the same person and you will have solid clarity and a game plan on how you are actually going to make your intentions, your manifestations a reality this year. It's gonna be so good. But first, of course, I needed to close out our new year intention setting series with my own personal reflections and intentions. And as a little reminder, a little motivator, inspiration for you, if you haven't already, to get that clarity on what you want to call in as well, because this is going to be really useful information for what we're going to dive into on February 22nd. So like I said, I will link everything down below for you. As usual, I'll also link my Arcane MLA jewelry. I'm wearing the Animus Corpus Anima. I hope I'm saying that right, it's Latin. <laughs> It means mind, body, soul, heart necklace. We just restocked her. And then I'm wearing a one of one Kunzite pendant. But we are actually, by the time you're watching this video, we just dropped a few more one of one melts to the site. So I'll link everything down below for you. Oh, and I have on the pierced earrings, and of course, the rapture ring stack, always. Also, I know that this is a video on my 2023 reflections and my 2024 intentions. I'm going to be sharing the lessons I've learned, the things I'm kind of leaving behind in 2023, and the growth that I'm taking with me and actually taking the lessons of and applying as to not repeat the process again and again, as we so often tend to do when we don't practice this level of awareness and reflection. And I'm also sharing what I'm aligning to, what I'm calling in. And I think that that's going to be really insightful for you as well as a bit of a behind the scenes, like an insider look as you see me here on YouTube or the podcast or on Instagram or TikTok and you see the things I'm doing and kind of understand the intention behind it. Maybe you observe 
an energy shift in me and you understand that there was a overarching intention behind that energy shift that you're watching me align to in real time. I think that's going to be really useful in your own process to kind of be able to see someone walk it out, right? But I also would love to hear about your own reflections and your own intentions for 2024. So leave whatever you feel comfortable sharing in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you're calling in, what you're moving towards, and the lessons that you've learned in the past year, plus celebrating any wins of anything that you're really proud of yourself for from the last year, anything that you've manifested, anything that you just want to bring that juicy celebration energy to because like attracts like, and the more that we can bring this gratitude and this positive appreciation and celebration energy to the things that we've already manifested in our world, in our lives, the more that we charge up our new manifestations with that same expanded and magnetic energy too. So let's make this comment section like a manifestation portal and just pack it with the best good energy ever. Okay, with all that said, let's go ahead and get into it. These sticker packs are also available on Arcane MLA. So I will tag them below for you too, but aren't they so cute? I don't know if you can see it. I feel like a, a beauty guru. <laughs> so cute. I'll tag them below. I just said tag. I'll link them below. Clearly I'm not used to YouTube, but we are learning. We are learning. Okay, so first I just wanna talk about why reflection is so important. We kind of covered this a little bit earlier on and I talk a lot about this in I believe it's part one of this series, but this is a step that is often left out of the intention setting process. People just kind of wanna look forward, you know, leave the past in the past, but you're really losing incredibly valuable information that you could apply to make your success even easier in the next year when you do that. And I'll tell you why. As you set your intentions for how you want to up level and the things that you want to call in, there's usually obstacles. I'm using air quotes for anybody who's listening to the podcast and not watching this. There's usually obstacles or challenges, or some may even say training or tests from the universe to help you to step into the version of yourself that you need to be to actually manifest that desire into your reality. So what I mean by that is if you are somebody who, let's say you wanna manifest a million dollar business and you've never started a business, right? You may face some challenges or there may be things that are coming up for you regarding this situation that really aren't there to not knock you down and to hold you back, but actually are there as opportunities for your growth. So opportunities for you to evolve through that process, evolve through that challenge and grow into the version of yourself that the universe, source, guidance, your angels, your higher self knows that you need to be with the wisdom, the embodied knowledge, the embodied lessons that you need to have to get to that level that you want to get to. So often when we set big intentions, when we're calling in massive growth in our life, massive success, or just anything new in general, things will begin to come up for us that when we don't have this awareness, we may see them as negative challenges, bad, right? The opposite of what we're actually trying to manifest right now. And we're like, why is this happening? I just set the intention for literally the opposite of this. But I invite you to start to look at these challenges as opportunities for you to rise up, opportunities for your growth. I love the word initiations. So like an initiation to take you to where you want to go. I mean, think about it. You go to four years of college to learn how to, I was going to say be a doctor, but I think you go for way longer than four years. When there's an end result that we want, right? Knowing how to be a doctor or knowing how to have whatever skill or trade, we go to school, we go to training for that. We go through classes and finals and it's not just easy. It's unknown to us. We have to learn along the way. And then eventually we get there. We have the knowledge, we have the wisdom, and then we're able to go out in the world and be that thing and not be trying to be a doctor and having no idea what to do because we never learned how to be a doctor, right? Think of it like that, whatever you are setting an intention for, the universe receives that intention, that desire, that message from you and goes, okay, bet. Like, 
class is in session. <laughs> it's time to learn. It's time to go through the initiation, go through the education process that is going to help you to become the version of yourself that you desire to be, who ultimately manifests what you desire to manifest. So where I see people get stuck often is that they might set an intention. They may say that they want to manifest something and the universe creates this beautiful curriculum for them for the lessons that they need to learn to be able to evolve in that way. They go through the challenges, but they don't learn the lesson. Whatever is at the root, whatever is at the core of of that challenge to be learned in order for them to evolve, they don't actually embody it. Maybe they get through the challenge, you know, it passes, they overcome it, but they don't actually dig into what was this challenge here to initiate me into? What was there for me to learn from this difficulty? And when we don't reflect and allow ourselves to learn lessons, from the challenges in our life, we aren't enabling ourselves to grow into that next level with the embodied wisdom that overcoming that challenge has offered us. And so what happens? You still have that same intention. You still have that same desire to manifest that same thing. And so the lesson will manifest in different challenges for you until eventually you learn it. But if you continue to not learn it and not learn it and not learn it, you will repeat the same challenges year after year after year. So a part of my intention setting every year is reflection, is looking back at what were the challenges that I faced this year? Were there any sort of repetitive themes in the things that were coming up for me? And how did I overcome them? What was this triggering within me? I think that's a great question to ask because often that's showing what is within you needing to be released, needing to be left behind, needing to be let go of for you to fully step into that next level self. I also group the celebration and wins into this reflection phase as well. And we've already kind of talked about why that's so important. In the same way that it's important for us to reflect on our challenges, it's also important for us to see where we've won, to see where we have grown and really bring a lot of energy and attention and curiosity to that as well. What has worked well for us? What did we accomplish? What did we overcome? And showing ourselves the success success that we've already created, proving to ourselves even more that this has been possible for us to create and so much more is also possible for us to create too. What we don't want to do and what we can often get in kind of the trap of is wanting something, getting it, moving on to the next. Wanting something, getting it, moving on to the next. And listen, you're going to want something. You're going to manifest it, especially when you learn how to apply the manifestation process. This is inevitable. You will manifest it and then you will be ready to manifest something else. That's a part of the human condition. <laughs> that is a part of actually our function and a part of our expansive, our nature of expansiveness. And it's a great thing. But to increase your magnetism, it's very useful to bring an energy of recognition to your accomplishments, to your manifestations, to your wins, and soak in all that juicy energy of gratitude and success and let that be fuel to charge your new intentions as well. Okay, so my 2023 in review. 2023 was actually a really powerful year for me. I'd say it was like a portal year. It was like a metamorphosis year for me. And it's interesting though, because looking back, I mean, I've been on the journey that I'm on it, as far as it goes with my businesses, Arcanum LA, my crystal jewelry brand, and then also Arcanum Academy, which is, I consider this a part of Arcanum Academy. So any of my, I guess, soul work, my courses, Align and Attract and Scale, my podcast, now my YouTube, and my social medias as well, I consider in the Arcanum Academy bracket. I have now been doing this since 2020. So four years. Oh my God. Just about four years or wait, it was towards the end of 2020. So we're in three years, three years, but going on four, almost four years. And 
looking back over all of those four years, it is just insane. <laughs> the amount of growth that has happened in these four years and the change and the transformation, it's its honestly mind blowing. And it's hard to like draw a hard line between the separate years because they all just really have flowed together so beautifully as I'm sure you reflect in your own life too. Because I really believe this is the process. This is, this is the process of our evolution. And I just feel like every year, I kind of end up reflecting and being like, wow, that was such a year of growth. <laughs> every single year, every year feels like a metamorphosis year. Every year feels like a portal year. But I guess that's just what it is when you're on this, this path of endless desire to evolve and to grow into your highest self. But 2023 was special in ways because it felt like almost a buildup of multiple years, a lot of lessons being learned in the years prior, but 2023 was really the year that I feel like I fully stepped into the version of myself, that next level self who had it down, who not only had learned those lessons from the year prior, but had just embodied the wisdom fully. There are two big takeaways specifically coming from the last year of 2023 that I want to highlight here. As you'll see, if you haven't gone through the new year intention setting guide yet, there's a lot of personal stuff that comes up as you move through this. So of course, there's so much that I'm not sharing, but I just want to share a couple highlights that I think will give clarity to into just who I have become and what I will be stepping into to even more of in 2024. So for one, I deepened my manifestation practice so much more so. And like I said, I've been doing this for a while. I've been studying manifestation for a long time now. I've been teaching manifestation for the past about three years, about three years, two and a half, two and a half. I'm so bad with the times. Don't ever trust me on years. I never know. <laughs> like I said, it's all a blur. But this year, I just deepened my understanding on a whole new level. I feel like within my own self, I was able to see so many limiting beliefs that I had been blind to previously. And I'm a mindset coach. I am currently getting my master's practitioner in neuro-linguistic programming, which is you can consider the language of the subconscious mind. And it never fails to amaze me how blind to our own faults we are, how blind to our own limiting beliefs we are. That's the subconscious mind for you. That's the shadow. That's ego. But I feel like I really prioritized more of my practice this year. I think in previous years, there was imbalance of me wanting to give to you guys, give to others to share the message of everything I had learned and what had initially really incredibly changed my life. I mean, if you know my story, I used to be very depressed, very sick, and when I had changed my life that first time, I just wanted to scream it from the rooftops. And in the process, I kind of abandoned myself a bit along the way. And of course, was still working on myself always and still manifesting and prioritizing self-growth and self-improvement, but not at the level that I want to be doing it. And this last year was a coming home to that for me a refocus, a reprioritization on my own manifestations, my own growth, my own energy, knowing that the more that I fill my cup, the more that I support myself to grow and evolve myself, the more that I will have to help others. And that has been such a huge, huge shift for me in the past year, in 2023. It's something that I teach a lot about in scale because when I created scale, that was one of the major breakthroughs and realizations that I had had that actually led me to making scale. But now after applying that lesson, applying that embodiment, right, of that embodied wisdom for some time now, I'm just juicing all the benefits of it. Like I am getting to experience the magic that really comes from filling your cup first and prioritizing your practice. And this can look different for everybody. For me, it's important for me to have my time, my me time to fill my cup. I usually do this in some sort of morning routine. So I love to start my day with reading and I'm always reading something spiritual, something on self-improvement, something that's spiritual, 
I usually like something more spiritual in the morning, not so like hardcore self-improvement because it just keeps me in that more feminine, flowy, connected to my energy body state than more in like the hardcore logic mind. But I'm always taking in really powerful content. Other than when I like to just kind of zone out at the end of the day when my brain is just done for the day and watch, you know, like Housewives or Love Island or Game of Thrones or whatever it may be, I am always taking in powerful content. So through courses, through books, audiobooks, podcasts, whatever, pick your poison, but I'm always educating myself deeper in that way. And making sure that's a priority has been extremely beneficial for me, not only in my personal growth, but also in how I'm able to help you as well. As I continue to grow and expand, I have more to share with you. So looking back on 2023, like I said, there's a trail of lessons from the last four years. 2022 is the year that inspired scale and the year that I started building scale. And that all came from the lessons that I had learned the year prior, 2021 into 2022, then was the building of scale and an even deeper embodiment into everything that I teach in scale. And then now into 2024, I finished scale in June, 2023. There's been so much more time that I've just deeply embodied these practices. And there's been this compound effect of me just getting to experience the richness of these principles and living life in this way. So while this wasn't necessarily a lesson to reflect on, it was the lesson of the potency of applying the previous year's lesson, if that makes sense. And that's why one of our quotes for this year is that we are not just learning, we are applying. So in this deepening of my practice and just deepening into this embodiment even more, I was able to break through so many limiting beliefs, really bring clarity to these sneaky ones that had stayed hidden in the shadows for so long. Like I said, I was really prioritizing my me time. So filling my cup with high quality content, staying tapped into my energy, my spirituality by always reading spiritual books and starting my day in that way. And then creating time for reflection. So journaling, meditation, visualization, and just stillness to be with myself and my thoughts. And in doing this and prioritizing this every single day, I was able to make clear a lot of things that had been hidden. So a lot of those just straggling pieces of old versions of myself, identities, beliefs, limitations that were holding me back that I didn't even have the awareness of. You guys have probably heard me say this a million times now. I talk about it a ton in my freebie manifestation keys. I'll also link that down below for you. And manifestation 101 and just in my content in general, but I really learned the power of your attention. This is something I've been new, but just took it to a whole other level this year of noticing how powerful we are as creators and really bringing my awareness to spot the patterns of how where I place my attention, like a mirror effect that begins to manifest into my life. And if I move my attention elsewhere, again, like a mirror effect, that thing will begin to manifest in my life. And I just played with it a lot and deepened into bringing so much more awareness into my attention. The thing with manifestation and being a master manifester or a master at your mindset, you can learn these principles and apply them and have massive success, have amazing results. But what I find so beautiful about manifestation, why I love being a manifestation mindset and success coach or teacher or somebody who shares about this stuff online and in my programs is I think it's so beautiful because it's so deep. There's layers to this. You know, I've learned all of this before. I know the power of my attention. I feel like just like if you were to start playing a sport, let's say you started playing baseball when you were a kid and you started with t-ball and then you were on a club team and then you were on a high school team and then a college team and then you went pro, right? There's these different levels and it doesn't mean that now that you're pro, when you were playing 
t-ball, you didn't know how to play. Maybe you didn't, but when you were playing high school, you didn't know how to play, right? You've always known how to play. You've just gotten so much better at it. You've just become a fucking pro, a master at it. And the more that I master manifestation, the more that I master mindset, I just nerd out on this so much so. And so it's so fun to take these principles and just embody them deeper, focus on one for a period of time, like awareness of my attention and just study how that really works, how that really is a universal law that so many of us are unaware of. But for those of us who are here, you know, you're watching this, you're interested to learn. And for those of us who do learn and do apply, it's like we crack the codes of the universe. I, I just will never get over it. <laughs> So that was one of my favorite lessons of 2023. Something else that was just such a deep knowing from 2023 as well has been, and you probably heard me say this before as well, but if you had everything that you were desiring right now, right? If the universe just dropped it in your hand right now, you wouldn't know what to do with it all. And this has really been powerful for me as well in my process of manifesting two multiple seven figure businesses. Let me correct that. They haven't manifested into multiple seven figure businesses yet. We're at the multiple six figures. When I get into my intentions, I will share more on my intention of both of my businesses becoming seven figure businesses this year. But I have grown so much as an entrepreneur. I have grown so much as a woman in my confidence, in my surety of myself, in my surety, in my ability, in my power as a CEO. I mean, I can say that now fully knowing I am a CEO, but last year that felt funny to me. It felt so big, right? And I have been taken along this journey that has helped me, just as I mentioned earlier, these initiations that have helped me step into that CEO, into being a master mindset manifestation and success coach, into being the CEO of what will eventually, and it's on its way to being a seven figure jewelry brand, a seven figure coaching business, growing both of these businesses side by side at the same time. It's been a lot, <laughs> as I'm sure you can probably imagine, but they're both so soul aligned for me. I wouldn't trade any of it. I wouldn't change any of it. But what I just have had the biggest aha of is this knowing that if the universe dropped it all, everything that you desire in your hands right now, you probably wouldn't know what to do with it. You probably wouldn't be able to hold it. It would probably overwhelm the f out of you. And I've shared in my last video as well that I always know I'm in full alignment with my manifestations when I am in the energy of peace and in the energy of being patient, because then I know that I'm in the energy of certainty. I know that it's inevitable. I know that I'm walking the path. I know that everything along the way are initiations that the universe is blessing me with, giving me the opportunity to rise up in so that I can become that version of me who holds two multiple seven figure businesses, lives in my dream house, has my perfect aligned lifestyle, is truly fulfilled and happy and in the enjoyment and pleasure of my life. Everything is leading me there. But if the universe plopped it all right into my hands right now, as the version of myself that I am now or was last year, I would be so overwhelmed. I wouldn't know how to manage it all. There's been so much that I've had to learn how to manage, so much that I've had to learn how to do and be as a CEO. And so this last year, 2023, I really got to that point of just certainty, patience, and peace. And it was a lesson I had learned, I believe the previous year, but again, it was just that deep embodiment of it. And almost looking back at my past selves, like silly girl, <laughs> you were not prepared for a million dollar business yet. I am now, I can confidently, confidently say I am now. And I've really stepped into that level of myself. And I continue to do the inner work to work through any of the kinks or the cracks or the limiting beliefs or the ways that I'm not fully functioning as that level of myself that I know I am, that I know that I can be, that I know that I must be 
to hold everything that I am manifesting. And I'd say I really am her now, but I'm always open to the growth. I'm always open to being shown where I can evolve more, step into it more, deepen into the embodiment of it more. I never think I know it all, but God leaps and bounds <laughs> in the version of myself that I am now from who I've been years prior. And I hope that this really resonates with you if you've been feeling impatient with your manifestations because I want you to know that I'm so thankful for the journey that has unfolded in the past three years for me and my manifestation journey, my manifestation of my soul aligned businesses and turning them into multiple seven figure businesses. I'm so happy for the journey that's unfolded because it has all prepared me perfectly to do exactly that. And I truly cannot imagine if my businesses had scaled to multiple seven figures in that first year or that second year. I really look back at that version of myself now and I'm like, she would have lost her shit. Like she would have absolutely had a panic attack, like literally not been able to function, not been able to hold it at all. And it just would have been so overwhelming. And what you are manifesting and praying for as a blessing would have been a curse at that time to receive it in my life. I wasn't at the place to hold it mentally, physically, emotionally, maturity. And I think that there's a lot of confidence and growth in seeing that in looking back and realizing that your manifestations haven't manifested in the past because you weren't ready for them yet. But now you can become ready for them and you can do what I do, where even if you feel that you are ready for them and you're like, OK, but I'm good. I'm here. I am her. I'm fully that next level self live in that curiosity of where am I not fully there yet? How can I deepen into this embodiment? more and really become curious of who that version of you is who inevitably manifests and has that reality and is maintaining it is holding it with ease right we don't want to have it and it be a a big weight a stress difficult for us to hold we want it to be in ease just how we do how we live what we are who we are also know too and i just want to throw this in here because it's on my mind and that's like my intuition being like, make sure you say this. I'm definitely going to mention this in the upcoming identity episode that I promised you guys in the last episode will be coming soon. And that will be an episode that's going to be a part of the challenge that we're diving into in February 22nd. But know too that when you think about your next level self, don't put them so far off from who you are now. Because although yes, I have changed massively from the year prior and the year before that and the year before that. I'm still me. I'm still Brooke. I still wake up with crazy bad head and still have my same stuffed animals that I sleep with on my bed. I still have like my quirky little tendencies. I still have a lot of my same likes and dislikes. Okay, you guys, this whole YouTube thing is definitely still a learning curve for me. My disc just ran out of space after I recorded basically the rest of this episode. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm going to get it. Last time my camera died, I have like three backup batteries this time, but this time the disc ran out of space. Anyways, to close up what I was saying about identity, we will go so much more into this in the identity episode, but I know that I've been guilty of thinking that my next level self or the version of myself who is living that dream life that reality that I'm wanting to manifest now. I've been guilty of putting her in this perfect box and thinking that when I'm that version of myself, I'll just be this completely different person. And ultimately that's not the truth. You will still be you, just a new and improved you and not a new and improved you where all of a sudden you're this unattainable level of perfection, but you hopefully happier you more at peace, you living a lifestyle that's more in align with who you want to be and supports how you want to feel. You're still going to wake up in the morning and have morning breath or bedhead. <laughs> like these things don't change. It's not that we become suddenly like this perfect robot person. So remove the pressure of yourself of feeling like you aren't that version of yourself. You're not fully embodied into that version of yourself because you aren't perfect yet. Because Here's the thing, when you are living your dream life, in my case, when I'm running these multi-million dollar businesses, 
I'm still gonna have bad days. You still will get sick. You'll still be sad sometimes. Like life will still happen and there will still be these imperfect moments. You will still have bad days. Me living as my next level self from a past version of myself now, literally just almost had a breakdown because of my <laughs> because the memory card in my camera died and deleted 30 minutes of footage. These things happen. We're never going to be perfect. So just allowing yourself to release that pressure of feeling like you aren't there yet because you're not perfect yet. You're never going to be perfect. Even when all of your dreams and desires and beyond have manifested, you're still never going to be perfect. You're going to be you and that in itself is perfect. You can aspire to up level your identity in the ways that support you and feel good to you now and are in alignment with where you want to go. You know, maybe that's a really nice supportive morning routine. Maybe you change your environment. Maybe you move somewhere else. Maybe you get new friends. Maybe you change certain habits or ways of being that aren't supportive to you, but you're always going to be you. And that's that's a good thing. Okay, I was going to go into one more reflection and it's on feminine energy, but because I don't want this episode to be too long and because I'm going to do a deep dive into feminine energy in a whole other episode very, very soon, I'm going to skip over that for now. But I'll just say that deepening into the feminine this year was such a big theme for me and something that I definitely shared about, you know, maybe on like my Instagram stories or we talk about here and there, but behind the scenes, it was definitely such a huge theme for me. So I'm really excited to take take all that I've embodied from that within 2023 and be able to share it with you guys now here having lived in the actual embodiment of it for some time now. Okay, now quickly into my celebrations and my reason for sharing this with you is just to give you, again, motivation and inspiration and insight into what is truly possible for you when you actually apply these practices in your life. So <laughs> I'll say it again, this year is all about application. That is what I want this year to be for you. I am here to teach you, to guide you. I have a lot to share with you, whether it's in scale, align and attract, or my free offerings on my podcast, my YouTube, my social medias. I have so much to help you to manifest your dream life that I can tell you but at the end of the day, it's up to you to actually do the work, to actually put it into action. So let this be the motivation for you to see what is possible for you when you actually apply the principles that I teach you here. Because everything that has allowed me to manifest, all that I've manifested throughout my manifestation journey and within this last year and everything that I will manifest this year is all the same principles and tactics and strategies and routines and understandings and embodied wisdom that I share with you guys here. Okay, so going to run through this super quickly, but I surpassed the amount of students that I wanted to manifest into Arcanum Academy. I set the goal at the beginning of 2023 to manifest a thousand students in Arcanum Academy. Again, for clarification, Arcanum Academy is my courses. So scale my manifestation mindset and success course, which is opening up very soon. So get on the wait list, align and attract, which is my manifestation and just deep soul work course manifestation 101. Exactly. Like it sounds, it's like a crash course on manifestation manifestation keys, which is my freebie. And it's the keys behind my first 70 K month. And I think that's it. But I set the intention to call in a thousand students into Arcanum Academy. When we started the year, I only had a line and attract and scale. And uh, that's another win for me is that I created Manifestation Keys and Manifestation 101 this year and ended the year with 3,700 students in the original version of Manifestation 101. It's now been updated with, I think, five new audios, hypnosis, meditations, all that good stuff, but 3,700, crazy, and 2,900 in manifestation keys. So I would love to manifest a thousand students in my big course, so scale or align and attract, 
that would be, I mean, like mind blowing to me. But this was just so, this was evidence that that is so possible for me to have you guys in my, these smaller programs. And for me, I've just connected to this purpose on such a deeper scale this past year that I don't want to say it's hard for me to say, but this is something I am working into stepping into more this year. So I'll just be really raw and real with you guys. But my sole purpose and it's even in my astrology, which is crazy. <laughs> but my sole purpose is to be forward facing and to speak to the masses and to help the masses and be someone that leads by example by rising myself, manifesting myself, and then helping others to do the same, helping others to rise up as well. But I finally owned this desire. Something that we tend to do is diminish our desires, diminish our actual callings. And maybe that's a calling for a certain number of students or a certain number of followers or a certain number of money in the bank account or a certain level of success. And a part of us might say, well, I shouldn't want that. I shouldn't need that. That shouldn't be necessary. But dig into what's underneath that. So for in my example, for so long, I didn't let myself set the intention to want a certain number of students in my programs because my thing was always, I'd be so happy to just change one person's life with what I have to share. I mean, that's a life, that's huge. But this was a desire that I had and I continued to have it and continued to have it. And this last year, I finally owned it. And that's when my calling was made even more clear to me that, yeah, I have that desire because I'm meant to be speaking to the masses. I'm meant to help lots and lots of people. And I had like embarrassment or difficulty owning that out of, I think like judgment of others, maybe me owning that. And this is something that we can go into so much deeper, but I just want to be really raw and real in this episode with you guys and share that. And I'm really fully owning that this year. I'm owning me being in the light, me wanting to be on social media, wanting to be on YouTube, wanting to grow my community, wanting to manifest more students into my programs because that is what I'm meant to be doing. I'm meant to be helping lots and lots of people. And so how can I do that if I'm keeping myself from calling in lots and lots of people. So yes, I surpassed my intention of a thousand students in Arcanum Academy this year, and I'm calling in, it, let's say a thousand students into scale and align and attract this year, because those are my actual massive programs that are transformational programs. And so I want to call in a thousand soul aligned students who are ready to transform deeply in my programs this year feels scary to own that, but I know this is a safe place. Also celebrating that I finished creating Scale in June 2023. That course means so, so much to me. There's not words to put into what Scale is, but I will be going into it so much deeper in the coming YouTube videos that I have and during our challenge because Scale will be opening for enrollment end of February. So we will be talking way more about scale to come, but it is a multifaceted manifestation course. It's on energetics, harmonizing masculine and feminine energy for soul aligned success, mindset, and of course, manifestation. She really is that like scale is her. And I'm updating it with this round as well, because as you can see from what I've shared here, I started creating scale right after my solo trip in October, 2022, finished it in June, 2023. And I'd say since then, I've been in just such a transformation and such a up level that I want to infuse this next level version of myself into scale to just enrich it even more. So we'll be updating it live with this next round, which I'm so excited for. 2023 was also my biggest year in business for both Arcanum LA and Arcanum Academy. And I had my first ever 70K month in August and 70K months to follow that as well. And I really want to share this with you as proof of manifestation too, because I share this in my freebie manifestation keys 
but those two months prior to my first 70K month were the lowest months in business I had ever had for Arcanum LA. And I turned it around, truly turned it around and exceeded truly by practicing all the manifestation teachings that I teach you guys. So I am proof of walking the talk, actually applying the principles. Okay. And listen to manifestation keys. If you haven't yet, I'll link it down below. It's free. But I talk about many of the keys that really helped me to break through during that period in that mini course. I also had my first fine jewelry drop for Arcanum LA. And this was such a big deal to me because since I had started my brand, I've always wanted to do fine jewelry. So for example, this is fine jewelry. These earrings and these rapture rings. Is it gonna focus? Maybe not, but you can find it all on Arcanum LA. It took a long time to design that collection. And also creating a fine jewelry line is a large investment. There's a lot of overhead costs that goes into producing a fine jewelry line. So it was something that I had desired to do. And that was a dream of mine since I started Arcanum LA like three years ago. And so to actually get to manifest it this year is just huge for me. We've always been huge on always creating quality pieces through all of our jewelry, whether it's our beta jewelry or our fine jewelry. I mean, our beta jewelry are all fastened with 100% solid sterling silver rhodium plated findings, meaning it's solid sterling silver that's also plated so it never tarnishes. So we've really up leveled our business over the years to ensure that everything is high quality. That's very important to me, whether it's in Arcanum LA or Arcanum Academy or with what I share for you in my podcast or my YouTube or social media. I want to be putting out good shit into the world, but to have a fine jewelry line just took it next level. So big, big win for me and something that I'll remember forever. I'll always remember 2023 as my first fine jewelry job. Okay, I've been hinting at this and saying that I would mention it in this podcast episode. So I'm going to mention it kind of briefly. I definitely need to do like a longer chattier, I don't know, catch up or chatty Q and A with you guys soon to just go into a lot of things so much deeper, but I manifested quite impressive improvements with my autoimmune healing this year. So for any of you that don't know, maybe you're new here. And also I don't really talk about it a lot either, but I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, a rare autoimmune disease. I also don't like to tell people the name of it just because I've scared myself looking it up before. And so I never want people to like put anything in my subconscious mind. <laughs> so I don't really tell people the name of it. I've actually just told my boyfriend like last year what it was called, but it's a rare autoimmune disease and I was diagnosed with it in 2019. And since then, and I haven't really shared this much, I've maybe posted it on my stories like twice, but I've done treatments, weekly infusion treatments since then. And I am happy to say I am off of my weekly infusion treatments. And I could literally cry saying that right now. I think this is like my first time just like fully, I guess, celebrating it other than within myself, <laughs> like celebrating it with other people. But yeah, I am now off of my infusion treatments, which I was doing for every single week since 2019. And it's not fun to have to put needles in your body every single week. It was painful. I'd cry every single time. My body would hurt from it. And I had doctors tell me that I would have to do that for the rest of my life and I'm not. So big win. <laughs> okay. And then final win before we get into our intention setting, I followed two very important intuitive nudges in 2023. One was for connection and one was for education. So I kind of touched on the connection aspect and where I finally owned my desire, my that part of my soul that was calling me to own the desire of wanting to speak in front of massive groups and wanting to share my programs and all that I have learned on manifestation and mindset and success with large groups of people. And I wanted this connection. Like I wanted to feel, for me, that is the most soul fulfilling thing. For me, Nothing fulfills my soul more than doing this, than sharing with you guys, than creating 
the courses and the programs that I've created and then sharing it with you guys. That is the deepest level of soul connection. I believe it's something on the energetic, on the quantum field where I'm really sharing a part of me. And then when you are receiving it, there's something happening there. <laughs> there's something happening in the universe, in the quantum field, and it's special. And I really wanted more of that. I wanted to connect more deeply with you guys. I wanted to meet more of you find more soul aligned individuals and be able to help more of you guys more. And I really listened to that call in 2023 by, like I said, creating Manifestation 101 and Manifestation Keys and just kind of being more active on social media than I had in previous years. And that's something I'm continuing in this year. You'll hear me mention my intentions for YouTube. But 2023 was that first step of me being like, okay, I'm gonna listen to this call and now I really see why. And then also the more I connect with you guys, there's more of this spark that's lit under me. It's like it gives me more energy to want to create more and share more and it inspires me to create more offers for you and even update my current programs with these new levels of understanding and wisdom that I gain along the way. And so that's a big theme for me this year is without sharing too much, now i have a lot to share with you guys this year and it's going to come through in very very beautiful ways that i am working behind the scenes on and we'll share with you shortly which actually one of those things is going to be the challenge that we're starting on february 22nd that's going to be a really great way for us to connect so I'm really excited for that. Okay, so now let's move into what am I manifesting this year? For one, going to manifest that I finally get YouTube down. I mean, I know that I'm just starting, but oh my God, am I having issues with this card and the batteries and all the things right now? This is a learning curve. I am manifesting a move, probably a pretty big life change. I may be moving out of LA. Honestly, all that I know is that I am moving in May and I have no idea where in the world I'm going to be moving yet. So stay tuned for that. But I am manifesting my dream house. I mean, I'm still going to be renting. I'm renting this current house. I don't want to buy a house yet, especially because I am probably going to be moving somewhere that I haven't lived before but I am manifesting moving into like my dream home. I shared this with you guys on in the last podcast episode and in my TikTok about the last podcast episode. And a lot of people asked me to share my process in manifesting my move. So I'm gonna be sure to actually really document that on this channel. So definitely way more content on that coming soon and you guys will get to see the whole process of it. As I mentioned, I've definitely tapped more into femininity, sensuality, and that's something that I'm manifesting deepening even more into this year. Specifically, I've started taking pole classes and I am set on getting good at pool this year. I know that's like a smaller manifestation or not like, you know, I'm gonna manifest a million dollars, but it really is something that I am set on for this year. And something that I've also found really useful for my manifestations is to have manifestations that I have just for the sake of fun, just for the sake of enjoying life and having a hobby. I mentioned in my 2024 ins and outs, that hobbies were so in for me this year. So just having something that's outside of my success or my career and just something to be fun for me to connect with myself more and tap into that sensual feminine energy is really exciting for me. So getting good at pole and my align and attract and scale students will laugh because I've been saying this for a while, but you guys, this year is the year I really am dedicating to it especially because i am so dedicated to pole as well getting my splits <laughs> i have wanted it for so long you know i wanted it for like flexibility and yoga and i just wanted to get my splits you guys i don't know we can't explain our desires we just have to trust them but this is the year she's getting good at pole and she's getting her splits and she's getting just more sensually embodied and i'm infusing all of that energy into everything that I have coming for you this year. So get ready because it's gonna be so juicy. 
so juicy. I can't wait to share the benefits I've already had this far from just tapping into my femininity and my sensuality and my body more. And I'm really excited to share with you guys. Kind of touched on this, but deepening my education, I followed that intuitive nudge towards the end of last year and I signed up to get my Neuro Linguistic Programming Master's. So I'm currently in school, which is crazy for me to even say because <laughs> I'm so busy between Arcanum LA and Arcanum Academy and now going hard on the podcast and YouTube, which is one of my intentions this year, and social media and my personal life. <laughs> and I'm back in school getting my master's in NLP, but it feels so good and it's so expansive for me. And becoming a practitioner in neurolinguistic programming changed my life. I infused so much of NLP and subconscious mind reprogramming into the work that I share. And I just wanna take it even deeper. And like I said, I wanna update my programs with even deeper levels of potent as fuck subconscious reprogramming for you guys. So I'm in school. <laughs> Huge intention for me this year, which I've said already, but I'm gonna say it again, is getting used to commanding big spaces, commanding groups, commanding rooms. I eventually want to host retreats. Like I said, I just have this internal call that I finally have put aside my ego, put aside the part of me that's embarrassed to own it. And I'm finally owning that my soul knows and is called to help, I even pause before saying it, but help thousands of people. And I guess in ways I obviously have with my social media already, but deeper. Like I want to help thousands of people transform their lives and break free of the illusion I think so many of us have been caught up in and really create this new generation of people who truly create and live their soul aligned lives. So I wanna get used to owning that. I wanna get used to being able to say that with authority and with confidence and feeling comfortable in leading a group of a thousand people in my programs or thousands of people on YouTube because eventually I see this translating into live things and actually having that energy exchange be a live experience. So I'm owning that this year and I'm really happy to share this with you guys here, especially if you've watched this this far, I know you're a real one. And I'm excited for you guys to get to see me step into that because I'm sure that watching me step into that, which is quite a leap for me, is hopefully going to motivate you and inspire you and show you that you can also step into these things that feel big and scary and like a completely different level than what you're playing at now. So we'll watch it unfold together. All I know is that it's aligned and I'm fucking owning it this year. With that, of course, YouTube and podcast growth, I'm really taking it seriously this year. I've had my podcast for probably like two years now, but you know, I was creating courses and I had a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients and for a long time, I didn't have a team to help me with Arcanum Academy or Arcanum LA. I finally brought on a solid team in 2023, which is another one of my wins from 2023. I just didn't have time to go into that because it's it's been a whole thing and it's such a win. It's such a win to finally let go of that control and let people in to help me, which is a part of that feminine energy aspect, which we will go into in another video. But now that I have this support, I'm focused on really putting a lot of energy and attention into the podcast and ultimately YouTube because whatever goes on YouTube goes on the podcast. And I really just wanna grow a community here. I'm excited to do videos like this, to do like mini challenges and mini courses on YouTube and do even vlogs or behind the scenes. I'm just excited to have this other platform. And in 2023, I just really had this intuitive nudge to do this, to build this out more. And I made the commitment that in 2024, I would do it, I'd go all in. And so here we are. It's funny cause I'm reading this list right here that I wrote some of my intentions that I wanted to share with you guys. And I have having a hundred students in my course. And I just shared with you guys, I said, F it a thousand. <laughs> so a hundred students is what I was starting with. And what I mean by that is in one round. So for example, when scale opens 
for enrollment in February for 100 students to be in that round of scale with me. And especially in that round, because it's going to be so special as I'm adding to it live, I'm updating it live with that round to have 100 students and have the live Q&A sessions and just connect with a hundred of you at once, transforming your life, going through the transformation that is scale at once and being there to support you is just, it just feels right. Like it feels right. I want to say like, it's crazy. It's good. But the only word I can come up with is it's just right. Like I know that this is what I'm meant to be calling in. And for me, that first step feels like a hundred, but I did say get a thousand so by the end of 2024 a thousand students in one course launch at a time but i'll update you when i hit the hundred too and maybe this round of scale will be it i'm trusting the universe in divine timing because i know that it is inevitable i know that this is what i'm meant to be doing and i know that i'm meant to be in helping tons of people in large groups but i'm trusting the universe in when it unfolds because like i mentioned at the start there's initiations to get to different places and if i need more initiation i'm down for it but i feel like i'm ready i'm ready for that hundred maybe you'll be one of them that's exciting okay arcanum la in stores i really would love to be able to end 2024 and be able to say that arcanum la is in stores I have written down inventions in both my businesses, basically downloads that I need to execute. I have been receiving crazy downloads of things that I need to do and ideas or inventions as I put it, but ideas of things that I need to make and do within Arcanum Academy and for Arcanum LA. And I've just been receiving them like crazy. I tell the story all the time, but Arcanum LA and Arcanum Academy were literally birthed from a download like this. So was me even getting started on TikTok. So is me now doing YouTube. Every good thing that has come from my business has been a download like this. And I've received quite a few recently of downloads that are just in my ear of you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. So with that said, there's going to be a lot of new things coming to Arcanum LA and Arcanum Academy this year. The ideas are there. I just need to execute on them and I'm really excited. Now it's just a matter of making time for all of it, which God bless the scale playbook because I teach you guys how I actually create the time to do everything I want to do and manifest all the things that I want to manifest and uplevel my life in all areas. And I am using the f out of the scale playbook this year and so is my team because we have a lot to do. There are a lot of ideas to execute. These downloads want to be birthed in the 3D physical realm and I am mother. And it probably goes without saying, I said this earlier in the episode and it really is something I have been up leveling into and aligning to, but my first seven figure year. I already feel like I am that seven figure business owner. I feel like my businesses are seven figure businesses beyond seven figure businesses. Like they are worth so much more than that. But having my first seven figure year is obviously a milestone. It's obviously something that I'm really excited to be able to celebrate in next year's 2024 reflection and 2025 intention setting video. So I'm excited to manifest my seven figure year as well to just show you guys that you can do it too. I've said this many times, but I did not come from money. I didn't grow up knowing any millionaires. And so if I can do it, you can do it too. And I can't wait to be able to celebrate that with you guys and infuse all the lessons as well that I learned from manifesting my first seven figure year into even more to share with you guys and help you guys do the same. And I wish I could share with you how I'm going to make this all happen this year, but that process is in scale and I'll be going so much deeper into some of those processes in the challenge that we have coming up starting February 22nd. So be here for the four week challenge. Scale will open for enrollment end of February, which will be rocket fuel for everything that we're going to be doing together in this challenge. But even if you just come here for the challenge, I am telling you, you will not be the same person by the end of March 
okay? Get excited for it. Get ready. Begin to get clarity on what it is that you are calling in, what your vision for 2024 is. Again, I will link the new year intention setting guide that we just covered here. And that also we go through in part one and two of the new year intention setting series that I did. And I will link those videos down below for you too, but that will help you to get some more clarity on your soul line vision that you're calling in for 2024 so that we can take it to the next level and actually start to make it happen in this challenge that I have coming for you. I might even have a prize, but you'll have to stay tuned for the details on that. I'm so excited for this challenge. Get ready because it's going to be good. If you made it this far, comment a little sparkle emoji so that I know who you are. And thank you so much for being here, for watching, for being a part of this community. Also, let me know what you guys would like to see more on this channel this year. Like I said, it's one of my biggest intentions is to really grow more of a community here and help more and more of you. So I really want to know what would best support and serve you specifically on your manifestation and success journeys, or also what you just want to see more of from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Set your calendar for 222 and I am sending you so much love and so much good energy. I'll see you next time. Bye.